Good morning, Brian. Morning, Mr. Rockefeller. Good morning, isn't it? It's a fantastic story simply because it's it's uh, the story of any con man is really the story of all of those that allowed themselves to get conned. And and this was a, this is a story about culpability, how people truly wanted to believe this guy was exactly who he said he was. Sandy's getting her MBA at Harvard. Clark's a Yaley. He was admitted when he was 14. Oh, well, you have me beat. I got into Stanford when I was 16. It's not a competition. <laughs> there was a scene when he, when he got married to Sandra Boss, uh, a little nice little church, her side of the family showed up. No one from his side of the family showed up because, of course, there was no side of the family. Uh, his, his best man was a bulldog in a little suit, and he, he wrote one of those segues. That, that's all in the movie, and it'll look ridiculous, but it's absolutely true. And the, But the craziest thing about it was that nobody questioned it. I mean, they questioned it, but they said, oh, I'm sure it's he's a Rockefeller. They do eccentric things. So the fact that not only did no Rockefeller show up to his wedding, but no, no, show, no one showed up ever, that a child was born and... No grandparents, no uncles or aunts were ever met, and Sandra continued to be okay with this marriage. It was fractious, but it went on for 12 years. Like I say, it's a testament to how much people want to believe certain things and, and at what lengths they'll go to, uh, to maintain the lie. Do you speak five languages? Six, actually. It, this guy was charming. He is charming. He's, he's quite brilliant. It takes a, quite a mind to to uh, memorize the things he did about sports and art. He could talk the talk. Only 17 perfect games in Major League history. Cy Young, Patty Joss, Jim Bunning, Sandy Koufax, Randy Johnson, Catfish Hunter. Catfish was best bat in his perfect game, if you can believe that. <laughs> well, maybe that's enough of baseball. I bet he has has demanded a television for Saturday night. That's my guess. And I hope <laughs> I hope I do him justice. He's, he's a sociopath, but he's fascinating. And... Uh, and I, I, I have the feeling, you know, they'd probably be delighted that somebody made a movie.